Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true and welcome to Lawn Mowing Simulator because, uh, oh, between this and Power Washing Simulator, gaming industry, you're just spoiling me recently. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I may be a bit in uh, over my head right now. I was expecting just a nice game where, you know, had a nice little push mower that I just pushed around and made the grass nice and stripy. No, I've got a proper mower car or something. Is this what you guys get in America? Because in the UK, we just get like, you know, nice little fly mower, or maybe a petrol one with a thing on the back, but like, even so, you don't cock and ride the thing, you push it. But, okay, apparently I'm driving a cocking mower car or something. Now, okay, this thing, it's a bit on the nippy side, blimey, okay, I was expecting a nice relaxing day in the garden, so okay. First things first, we make a border. Okay, this is very important. You go around the outskirts to make the border, so you've got a nice little bit of, you know, space you can turn in when you do the actual cocking stripes. So, okay, just just get round over here. If it's a bit messy under the oar, that's not good enough. No, 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 you got to make sure we get the edges here. Just round the very edge, get the border done. Though, to be honest, I kind of want the, uh, the edge on this side to be... Uh, nice and straight. So, okay, I might just do all this bit as it should be. And oh dear, there's all sorts of nonsense going on. Also, presumably I've got a... I've got a bag, right? And that's... Is that the trash container? Right there. That might be the trash container right there. We're picking up the weeds while we're doing this tour, right? Two jobs for the price of one. Okay, so this is how we do. Alright, we detach the blades, or like, raise them up or something. Then we just spin her around... All right, then we get ourselves nice and lined up because we need to do this all proper like. Then uh, once we're on the straight that we want to actually be doing, make sure we are as we should be. Uh, back her up. Engage blades. Uh, now we just go right along here, making uh, the smallest adjustments we can get away with. Though, to be honest, if I had a better turning area round over here, screw, I'm going to make a nice turning area. Okay, I've now created a, a turning zone. That means, uh, henceforth, what we can do is we can create nice, straight lines. So, just straight over here. And... Okay, seriously, Moa, we were doing okay until a second ago. I'm going to slow it down a little bit, alright? Just slow it down, uh, make sure we don't go over the red line. I'm a little bit off, I'm leaving, I'm leaving grass. Okay, this is unacceptable, I need to watch myself here. Because the blades don't go... Uh, as far out as the tyres, obviously. So that just means I can now turn around uh, here. And now just reverse. Pick up this bit of leftover monster grass. And, uh, okay. This should now be uh, straight along. Alright, so just straight over here. And I'm not seeing as many stripes as I'd like. I'm seeing, like, you know, a, a little bit of stripe. I'd like more stripe, but now I'm overheating. Sorry. Okay, need to keep my eye on the stripe. Together with the fact I'm not overloading the mower, which isn't a thing that happens to, like, you know, push mowers, so really feel like we could have just had one of them. Oh, you know what? There's definitely a bit of stripe going on. And on top of that, I have got Batman vision, but for mowing lawns. Oh, look at that. I can see all of the lawn that needs to be done yet, including that small bit I just kind of uh, missed last time. But this is just the tutorial, by the way. This here, this isn't the actual game. This is just me learning how to ride a lawnmower. Okay, and just checking, low cut height really puts the pressure on the mower. Whereas a uh, high cut height, yeah, you can just basically do whatever the hell you want. So, uh, okay, we got the basics here, right? We know what we're flipping doing. Basically, just give everybody a bit of a half ass cut at 9 centimeters, and that's it. No one's going to notice or care. In fact, actually, that's better. If I do a half ass job and the lawn isn't properly cut, they need to call me back to do it again sooner. Then they have to pay me again. Oh, this is... This is a good scam I've got going on. Okay, job number one. A really beautiful, if absolutely cocking, massive cottage, actually. That's... That's a really huge cottage. That's just weird. So, cutting height... Five to six centimetres. Six centimetres it is, you stupid loser. And, uh, okay. So, uh, the grass that's currently closer to uh, 13 centimetres, uh, I can cut through uh, way more quickly. 20 centimetres, uh, we're going to need to take our time. And also, uh, yeah, there's going to be uh, flower beds to avoid. Diddly diddly dee. So, okay, this is, this is more complicated than I was expecting. Oh, flip me. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Have I got a time limit? I don't even know what a ground check is. You didn't include that in the tutorial. Oh, okay. It's four minutes of setup time. So I can remove stuff. So, aha. If there's like, you know, say an old toy or rocks or a cat that you don't want to run over. So you have to get it out of the way and also plan your route. Okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. Right. Do I have a sprint button? I don't know, but I've got four minutes to... Oh, that is uh, a toy car. Okay. I've got a sprint function. Good. Okay. 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 Let's come up with... Uh, a planner here, because uh, this area around here, nothing too dramatic. There's not going to be an easy way to do uh, back and forth. Probably, I want to do, uh, yeah, this bit just as it is. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, just a bunch of back and forth along here, together with, uh, yeah, a bit around here. Though this bit at the end might just be uh, done on its own. And seriously, where's, where's the other object? Oh, hang on. I've got it. I've got it. It's an exercise thing. Okay. We gotcha. No trouble. No trouble. But 26 minutes to mow this entire area. And oh, blimey. Oh, well, lardy cocking da with your fancy cars. Okay. Let's get it going. But then I might have uh, 26 minutes. So, uh, okay. We need to cut some mother flippy grass. So, all right. Just get her on. Uh, lower cut height to uh, six centimeters, uh, the absolute bare minimum. Uh, do not engage blades until we are on a grass bad uh, for mower. And uh, yes, indeed. Okay, my performance. La di da. Find the balance between speed, uh, careful driving, uh, stay away from uh, the flowers, but don't miss a bit at the end. So just round the back over to here. Engage blade. Uh, careful. Okay. Careful right here. So uh, there's no time limit down. Uh, possibly 26 minutes is the target. But like, you just get a poor rating if you do it wrong or something. And seriously, just get round over to here. This looks pretty short. This grass at the edge. So this is probably not going to be too much of an issue. So just get round over here. The mower seems to be handling this. Oh yeah, no trouble. No trouble at all. So just be careful around the edges uh, over to uh, here. Hang about. I'm missing a little bit of the edge there. I'm probably going to say at this point, just de-engage uh, blades. Yeah, this area, I'm just going to... Oh, you actually have a mark in the grass when you just go over it. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Right, this area, I'm just going to do right now. And I'm just going to create a little area right here that's going to be the basis for turning going forward okay i don't know whether this is a good idea uh mowing wise but screw it it's what we're going to do this is going to be absolutely fine in fact you know what we can do a little pyramid looping scroll thing in fact why am i doing okay why am i doing it like this i'm just going to okay we're going to do a loop we're going to do a spiral that's what we're gonna do oh it's gonna be lovely Okay, this has been the worst idea I've ever had. This is... Okay, now it's working. Now it's working. No, it's not. Okay, it didn't, it didn't work at all. This was this was a dumb idea. I've damaged the ground. I've turned my vehicle up. Okay, definitely don't do that. I damaged the ground. I'm now going to get fined because I uh, did a bit of damage to the... Okay, don't just spin her around at full lock. Bad call. Okay, 20 minutes. 20 minutes left to go, but... I've done this square, okay? That there, that's important. Because that means, uh, yeah, now if I just do uh, the very edge uh, over here nice and careful, I can start just going back and forth nice and easy. And this bit, this bit's easy. Okay, this bit's absolutely fine. So then just a straight line, uh, straight through to here. All right, then just around. Uh, careful not to go uh, full lock or anything. Right up to the edge, but not onto the concrete. Don't hit the flowers. Round to here. If you are a professional gardener or landscaper, I'm so sorry. This is probably, like, not how you do it. This here, this is where we start catching up. Though, to be honest, I am only a quarter of the way through the time. And I am 30% done. So I am ahead of the curve, all right? Now, now we can just go straight through here. Watch your speed. Watch the engine. And I'm just going to go completely straight. All right. Now, 
Now we ignore the bit of the lawn are ruined, and we pick up this bit. But now I've got a completely straight line to go along. So, okay, back we come, back we come, back we come. Just line her up, and boom. All right, not, not full speed, uh, partial speed. We're going into uh, the real depths of uh, the lawn here, all right? We're going into the wild zone. So, uh, just bring her around, uh, bring her around, uh, straighten her up, and uh, now go at about half speed. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay, we nailed it. We've completely got it at this point. Just straight through uh, here. Lawn mower doing uh, very nicely. Okay, hang on. No, we, we missed a tiny bit. We missed a tiny, tiny amount there. We can get it later. It's fine. Okay, be a bit more conservative when it comes to how much can I do in a single line. All right, more like this. This is okay. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Straight through here. But now it's just, oh, it's just going up like crazy. We got it. We absolutely got it. Aside from, well, sooner or later we get into that tree. Okay, we'll deal with the tree when it comes up. Line her up right to here. And then about... about oh, blimey. All right, chill out. Had a bit of a speed boost there. Hit a cocky zipper or something. I don't know what was going on. In fact, you know what? It might be safer and easier to do this in... Yeah, like a square. Because this is still a straight line, isn't it? Just, you know, a bit more of a round-the-houses one. So, pick up the stragglers right there. Then we loop in to here. Then we reverse back. Okay, Mitty, that means... Then there won't be back and forth stripes. But I'm losing less time when it comes to turning. So, okay, the stripe pattern is now going to change midway through the mow. But I feel like this is way more efficient. Because now I'm not doing a three-point turn every time I get to the end of a line. I can just move straight on to the next. This is... Oh, this is way better. Oh, yeah. Now this... This box strategy, boxing the tree in. Oh, this is it. All right, I'm ready to go pro. Okay, the bed next to the tree is going to be a bit more complicated. So take your time. Make sure we just get that right. Then just spin her around. Go back up. So, okay, we're changing the pattern again, actually. But it's all going to be A-OK. -okay. The important thing is now we can just, yeah, now we just go straight on. Don't bother turning around. Just get right in. Don't hit the flowers. Uh, we're just giving them, you know, a little nudge. It's fine. Then around to here. Then we just get all of this. Then we just spin her around again. Okay. All I need to do now is, uh, yeah, get this last little bit round here. So just bring her around. Uh, then we're going to get all of this. Though there's more left of the... Uh, at the top. So, all right, just careful. Don't do uh, too much of a sharp turn. Get that. And, oh, I might have just done a tiny bit of damage. I felt the rumble pack go there, but I'm sure it's all fine. It's just round here. And also, you know what? While I'm passing by, while I'm passing by, don't forget this one I missed earlier. That was really inefficient, but I wanted to get it, damn it, while I remembered it was there. And that should be that. Done. Love it. Okay. Two thirds done. Now just this bit. And this should be a okay. I'm just going to draw a line straight along here. We'll do the edging at the end. Right. I'm just going to box out an area that we can just strike. So now everything inside this box we can just do conventionally. So, okay. Just next up. Make sure we get the. Oh, that's going to be tricky. Hang about. She's got a little bloody trellis or whatever. Let's just make sure we've got that. Is that a trellis or is that an arbor? I think those are called arbors. I'm not sure. Now, now we're ready to start speed mowing. Good 10 minutes on the clock, but doesn't matter. All right, now, now I can just go zoom, zoom back and forth. No trouble whatsoever. In fact, this grass really isn't that tough at all. My mow is just cutting straight through it. So we can just loop around the outside onto uh, the next row, uh, back up, and oh yeah. Now this. This is efficiency. Okay, we're coming up on crunch time. Because uh, the game says uh, the job ain't done until 99% of the grass has been uh, mowed. So uh, 
if I've left too much around, uh, there's just like, you know, uh, tiny bits of grass. That means I need to uh, hunt it down uh, until we hit 99%. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure there's a 0 0.7 in this tiny... Oh, there might be. Oh, there might be. Oh, I might be a genius at cutting grass and... Uh, boom. So, my ground check was efficient. That's another three pounds. Then, yes, because I did it fast, another eight pounds. But I was penalised about five pounds for hitting one flower and tearing up a tiny bit of turf. So, no, hang on. Ground damage was only one pence. Collision 350. I have no idea what I collided with. Okay, even easier. The next garden wants only seven centimeters. So basically, I just need to, you know, brush over it. No trouble. Engine is going to be fine. And I get more money the faster we do this. Okay, let's cook in speed run this. We need to get going. All right, 26 minutes, seven centimeters. The absolute highest we can get away with. So uh, we're just going to go. I'm just going to go in a big circle, and because it's only seven centimeters, and the grass isn't that long, we should just be able to just go. Just, just talk and go, alright? That's all we need to do. Just round over to here. We might miss a bit at the edge. That's fine. We'll come back for it later. No trouble. Basically, we should just be going. Okay? We should just be going all the talking time. Never, ever stop, alright? Screw nice stripes, straight lines, all the rest of it. If I'm not mowing, then I'm not winning, all right? We mow, we earn, we're cocking speed running this, all right? Let's get on the cocking leaderboard. It said 26 minutes. We're coming up on 10% right now. It's only been like, you know, 140. And that includes getting the mower going. So this is, uh, this is fine. This is all A-OK. -okay, and presumably, longer grass counts for more. Because it's like more grass by volume. I have no idea if that's true or not. Okay, you know what? Screw that bit over there. We'll come back for that later. Instead, just keep on keeping on. We seem to be, yeah. We're getting into a good rhythm here. We're not really leaving much in the way behind. Get that. Loop to here. Left a little bit behind there, but that's fine. There's so much grass that, like, these little bits, they won't be 0.5%. Job cocking done. Then just round over to here. Oh, yeah. This is it, alright? It's a great big spiral, and it's going to be beautiful. We're more than a third of the way there, and we're only at, like, five minutes. Okay, this is going to be done ten minutes early, no trouble. I mean, I say that, I'm going to be honest. Um, Okay, so uh, the route I'm taking is a bit improvised, in a way, shall we say. Because I'm just basically going uh, anywhere I need to go that lets me just keep mowing on an ongoing basis without much, you know, respect for how much I'm leaving behind in various odd corners. But I feel like it's going to be super easy to go and pick up any bits we need to pick up right at the end. And that's just going to be the allowable margin of error when we hit 99.5. It's going to be fine. Yeah, the key is to take the corners pretty nice and wide. So then you don't leave stuff behind. Obviously, we are getting... We're running out of grass to cut on this bit of the lawn. So, okay. We might need to abandon that bit. And now we just start looping here. All right. New loop right here. Okay. We're just going to pick this up. We're almost at uh, two-thirds. Oh, 8.30. Ooh. Okay. 12 minutes is now looking dicier than it once was. We've definitely slowed down a bit on account of uh, the fact that, yeah, now there's a whole bunch of... Uh, little bits and pieces so just move around here just one or two more times gosh darn it this irregular lawn is not helping my strategy in the cocking slightest it's just round two here now all right we're still we're still going up and around it's all fine the pattern is a little unusual but he didn't specify any particular style of stripe so he's brought this on himself when you think about it Okay, take this opportunity to mop up some of the more egregious corners that were missed previously. Then get back over to this triangle. This corner is now ludicrously too tight to really take, but I've just destroyed a flower. That's like one pound, it's fine. Okay, we're almost three quarters of the way there. I'd say what we do now is... We do one more loop in this direction, because this here, this is a good, solid amount of grass. And then, 
We loop round to mop up, yeah, some of this. This is a good solid amount of grass too. Okay, now we've got a loop we can actually do right over here. And now, oh bloody hell, I'm reversing. That is the enemy of efficiency. You should never be reversing, damn it. Okay, it's time to go over to uh, the other grass. Okay, there's a tiny bit over there. That doesn't count. That doesn't matter. No one's going to care about that. 77% already at 10 minutes. We're doing well. We're doing really damn nicely. Now we just mop up this right over here. Get that little spare bit. Do a bit of a turn. One reverse. We're going to get this right here. That's pretty good. Then we're going to mop up this right here. Now we're going back over there. Okay, there's only 20% left to go. In fact, this feels like it should be way more than 20%. This should be really easy at this point. In fact, I'm really suspicious of that counter. So I feel like that's going to hit like, yeah, 100% before I'm even done with the main bit. But okay, maybe it's a bit generous. Then round over to here. No trouble. No trouble at all. Okay, now we're back on easy straight. All right, now, now we've got a good loop going on right here. Screw that bit there. I need to create a corner I can actually use for something. So uh, just don't cause trouble for the flowers. Uh, then we just cut off this bit right here. Then we just cut off this bit right here too. Okay. Now we start going round. Uh, okay. I'm going to get all of this and that's it's a little bit tighter than I'd like. Okay. Screw, screw this bit right here. Didn't even kill a flower there. Cocking S rank right here. Okay. I'm going to get some of this because I'll admit there's there's a fair whack of grass round the back over over here. So uh, just two little dashes uh, should get me to, you know, quite a bit of grass done right there. No trouble. Now we just come round over to here. And okay, there's... I'm seeing a problem starting to emerge, I will admit, yes. Which is, uh, no way in hell does this actually represent 100%. Not even, not even close. Like... Okay, don't worry about it. We're Oh, we're coming up on 13 minutes. Okay, we've slowed right down as the big easy grass has worn off. And, uh, oh no. This is it, isn't it? This is my nemesis. The nemesis to my hubris has now arrived. Now I need to sort out this utter mess I've left behind myself the whole time. Okay, if we can still do this before 16 minutes, we are still 10 minutes ahead of schedule. All right, that there, that's pretty good. We weren't able to do it in half the time, but this is still going to be really, really damn nice. So just get over here and mop up all over this. Pick up some of this, and then there is still a big chunk over here. Now, this bit's going to be a little bit tricky to do on account of the turning circle. So maybe reverse a little bit right there that's all absolutely this is not a good way to do this now we just mop this up to it oh bloody hell there's loads here okay there's a good strong line right here and then there's a good line right here nip over to uh, this line right over to uh, all of this and seriously mop up at least some of this round to here not a full lock on uh, the steering just a little bit and now we go you to you, to you, to you, 96.8%. Oh, that's a lot of damage, actually, but I'm sure it's all fine. Right, get this. Now, get that. Grab it, you. I see you bastards over there. Right, get over to here. I see you lot. I've got one minute. One minute to go to do 2.5%. Which, as a straight line on a graph, should be so doable. But, okay, there's, there's some there. Right there. There's a good chunk right here. There's a good bit in the corner. I did not destroy them flowers. Right, right to here. To you. To bring you around. I kind of feel like we're out of grass at this point. So, okay, just get these bits. That's way more. That's way more right there. Okay, 97 point. No! No! My one goal in life, and I'm going to catastrophically fail it. Okay, I'm um, going from speedrun to panic at this point, because uh, I'm still 0.6% shy, and I'm really feeling uh, like I'm almost out of uh, dumb bits I didn't bother getting uh, last time. Like, this looks really dumb to me, and apparently there's still 0.5% uh, I need to get from uh, somewhere. 
Okay, there's a tiny bit on the edge there, but it's like, it's really not much. Then, maybe like a tiny bit right here. Pretty confident about that bit on the path. No, seriously, where's the last 0.5%? Because I don't know where it is. Okay, just... There we go. Deactivate the mower. I need to have the mower off to activate Batman Sense. So, okay, basically, the bits I've not done are everywhere. Got it. Okay, we're at 99.4. And, um, admittedly, we are now at this point, uh... Yes, just 20 seconds shy of 26 minutes. So basically, don't do what I just did. Bad call. Because now I'm just driving circles around this guy's garden. Because apparently I'm not done yet. And uh, at this point, I feel like he's been the arsehole. This looks pretty damn done to me. Okay, we're done. We've done it. We've cocking done it. It took longer than it should have done because, yes, okay, this, this, not how you're supposed to do it. Okay, there's a proper career mode going on here. So, yes, I've got uh, a level and I can start upgrading my headquarters so I can buy more and different kinds of mowers and then buy different headquarters and all sorts of nonsense, including having staff so I can send them to do the mowing that I don't want to do. Though, I feel like, to be honest, if I bought the game Lawn Mowing Simulator, I'd probably want to mow some lawns, but what do I cock in now? Although I can't help but notice there's also... Oh yeah, aside from career mode, challenge mode. Okay, here we go. They put some effort into this. Okay, the first challenge is a fuel challenge. I have 17% fuel, and that's only just going to be enough. Okay, how are we going to do this super efficient? Because there are, oh bloody hell, there's things everywhere. Flower beds, trees, all the rest of it. So, okay. That means we can't be wasting fuel crossing, yeah, any of the uh, the paths. We need to complete one area before we move on to the next. So, okay. Make sure you don't box yourself in, otherwise we're going to end up screwing ourselves over. Also, I don't know what this thing is. Oh, this thing's, oh, it's, it's all wibbly. Oh, I don't, oh, oh, oh no. This isn't what I'm used to. And, oh, hang on, what the... Raise and lower the cutting deck. Okay, this is not what I was expecting at all. Okay, activate thing. Cutting at the wrong... Okay, now we change that, yes. Okay, how wide is my... No, I'm not. I'm not cutting at the wrong height. We're fine. How wide's my thing? Okay, my thing is... It's pretty wide and it's pretty wobbly. Anytime I go, oh bloody hell, what the, what the cock is this nonsense? Okay, it, it doesn't, can't go in a straight, just, I just want it to go in a straight line. I just, I just want it to go in a cocking straight, oh this is, this is a nightmare. Okay, if you get going up to some speed, then you've got a bit more control. It's just really bad at stopping and starting. So, if I just do this at full pelt, it's fine. Which is precisely what I need to not do, because uh, I'm, you know, doing the whole fuel thing right now. Also, I don't know how bad the, the fuel situation is. No, oh, bloody hell, oh, that's all gone. It's all gone wrong. Okay, I think the way to do it is just to run it at about uh, half power. Alright, so you're not going at full pelt, so it goes nuts. But, you're not stopping and starting either. I've just kind of got it about, yeah, half speed right now. And that means I've got a decent level of control without ever pushing it towards, yeah, breaking point. So now we just need to go around these flowers. Make sure we mop up as much of this as possible. And I do not care about the flowers, actually. Screw your stupid flowers. All right, just get around over to here. Ignore that. John, we can't ignore the corners. We cannot ignore the corners. That's not, not how this goes. Okay, we need to do this efficient like so. I mean, it can turn pretty well, which is nice. And then, okay, then go back on myself. Because I need to finish off, yeah, this bit before we go. Another flower is dead. I still hate it. It's still the worst. Okay, I know the giant spiral tactic. 
didn't work any of the other times I did it. But I feel like it's gonna work on this occasion because this thing has got a much better turning circle. So it can get in and do the spiral way more efficiently. Okay, sort of abandoned area number one over there at the far side. Area number two has been going much better. A lot of flowers have been sacrificed in the name of efficiency and cutting corners, but I have managed to do the entire outskirts, pretty much anyway, leaving only this middle bit that I can now just loop around on without too much in the way of trouble. Just get all of this too, and I'm going to be honest, screw you. I don't care about your stupid flowers, it's all fine. Then we can just start looping around. Then again, this central bit is way too narrow. So I need to do this in like two passes or something. So I don't know whether we're going to be able to do that. Just around to here. Up here. Okay. Now I just need to turn around on myself a little bit. That's the one thing this mower is good for. Being able to turn around on yourself super easy. Everything else, including, you know, being able to actually know where you're about to bloody go. Cocking hopeless. But that bit, that's pretty good at least. And now we just need to do another couple of dives up and down this bit. Bloody hell, precision, John, precision. Okay, it said I started with 17% fuel. And I'm already three quarters done. Now, I feel like I've got more than 4.25% of my fuel on my meter, though I can't be 100% sure, so okay, we might, just might, be able to pull this nonsense off. Oh no, so the fuel limit sort of uh, snuck up on me a bit there, and there's definitely, I mean there's some grass that's not been done, I'll admit, but like, you know, from certain angles, this one, this one looks pretty good. Okay, from this angle, this looks fine. That angle, I'll admit, less good. That was literally the first challenge of the first series of challenges. There's 24 of these bastards. But you know what? No, 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 no. I think I know why we're really here. Unrestricted mowing, mow whatever you want. Let's go. Oh, now this is nice. Infinite fuel, don't need to worry about damage. Don't need to worry about anything. I can just, you know, wander around uh, mowing what I want, not mowing what I don't want. No need to worry about anything at all. Just, you know, uh, enjoy a nice day out making things uh, that are nice and overgrown, uh, nice and neat. And to be honest, no. No, 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 no. I am going to rise up against these bastards uh, who have hired me to mow their cocky grass. Yeah, that's right. Take this, you stupid sportsmobile. This here is Lawn Mowing Simulator, and uh, I'm going to add it to my list of uh, simulators that just put in way more effort than I would have reasonably expected uh, that they would do. Because recently, Power Wash Simulator was uh, a much bigger, more intricate, well-modeled game than it had uh, any reason to be. And I kind of feel like the same is true here. Maybe not quite to the same extent. I don't feel like the grass is uh, as intricately well modelled uh, as, uh, you know, all the dirt was uh, in Power Wash Simulator. But all I wanted out of this game uh, was the ability to go into an overgrown area and uh, drive my lawnmower over it and to make it be not overgrown. Okay, what I wasn't expecting was uh, a career mode with uh, headquarters and levels and employees and diddly diddly d. I was not expecting any of that, so... Uh, Okay, call me pleasantly surprised. Uh, might bring this back as a ludicrously chill live stream. We uh, shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Lawn Mowing Simulator. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Yeah. No, okay, that would have been good if I'd actually hit the ball. And swing! Yes, yes, yes! That is the swing! That is the swing! Come on! Go you! Oh, yes! Oh, 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 o